It's a keystone species because its importance in terms of the linkages within the system is not implied by its abundance. So their particular niche is mycovore, I guess you'd call them, a fungus eater. They do eat other things, but a big part of their diet is the spore bodies of soil fungi. And a lot of those soil fungi fall into that important category of being the mycorrhizal partners for the trees. So they're the types of fungus that make very close mutualistic associations with major plants. And the betongs, when they eat the spore bodies, get a reward from the structure, but the spore passes through the animal intact. So they are one of the vectors for the spores for those mycorrhizae. And as a result, they're keeping the soil inoculated with the soil fungi that are needed by the trees to reach their full potential. So if you remove that animal, or lose it, or it changes its diet or whatever, then you can see big shifts in the way that plants might mature or how well they might do their health. Yeah, lots of, lots of things might change. Shift.